Hello guys, so we're back for another fun pick a card reading and the reading that we're going to do today is what do they tell their friends and their family about you? Basically the person, you know, that they're close with. What do they tell their friends and family about you? And we'll have three choices here. This is group one. This is actually a green adventuring. And then group number two, that will be the calcite moonstone. And the third one would be citrine. So that's one, two, and three, okay? So try to focus on your person, okay? Meditate, check which of these crystals are actually really calling you out. Again, here are the choices, group one, group two, and then group three. Let's get started with your reading. Hello, group one. You chose green adventuring, which is really beautiful. Let's get started with your reading. Let's try to find out what does your person tell your friends and, and their family about you, okay? The people that they're close with, the people that they are actually, you know, comfortable opening up with, you know? Spirit, what does the person of group one tell their friends and family? Okay, you got two cards here. First card, you got nine of wands. All right. Second card, you have Ace of Swords. Wow. Okay. All right. We'll take four more. Spirit, what does the person of group one tell your friends and family about them? Okay, got two cards. What is this? Four of Wands. Wow, there's a lot of Wands energy here. Okay, interesting. And then we have Strength. You could be a Leo, by the way. Or you have Leo in your chart. All right. Okay. Oh, that's way too much though. We just needed two more. So two more spirit, please. Oh, wow. That's a lot. kind of hard to shuffle this card in terms of because it's so sticky for some reason so when the cards fall out they all come together you know that's weird what do they tell their friends and family about you just two more spirit please Whoa, okay. You got three of pentacles, okay. All right, so one more. And then we'll get started. One more spirit. One more. So that's the problem with this um, deck. That's why I don't use it often for some reason. I'm having a hard time really with this deck because it's so sticky. Oh, wow. Look at that. When they... They all fly together, like four or five cards. Just one more, please. Okay, this one's sticking out, okay. We got two of pentacles. All right. So. All right. So what do they tell their friends and family about you? You could be dealing with Leo or you are a Leo with um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy, or they are. Okay. But there's a lot of, you know, energy of um, fire here as well as earth okay we have three of pentacles two of pentacles and then we have nine of wands ace of swords four of wands and then strength so a strong leo definitely all right so this person um what do they tell their friends and family about you 
they are, you know, telling their friends that you're actually very blunt, you know, that you're very direct is what I'm feeling. That's exactly what they're telling their friends. Like, you know, this person, she is, she or he is very blunt, very direct, okay? Sometimes the truth hurts when, when they say something, you know, sometimes, you know, because maybe you're the type of person that you don't care whether it's, you don't like to sugarcoat things. So you say what, you mean what you say. That's it. You mean what you say. So if there's something that you really wanted to express, you would openly express that. Because you are very courageous. You have that strength of a Leo. Again, I'm feeling a Leo energy here. Definitely. I'm even feeling the energy of a Leo. Of someone who's actually courageous, very brave. Who doesn't care whether you would like um, what they say or not. You know, it's like, I'm just going to say it. You know, you want me to lie? I'm not going to lie to you. Um, that's, you know, that's really how I feel. So you're very communicative and you are actually very direct with your approach that sometimes it can be, you know, it can be harsh or it can be, you know, sometimes hard for them to accept it. You know, I don't know why I'm getting that, but I felt that strong energy. Another thing that, um, they're actually telling their friends and family about you is that you're actually very, you know, you are very ambitious. You are um, a person with a lot of dreams, you know, you're very hardworking. I really feel that you could have met this person in the workplace as well, because there's so many energies. One of the energies I'm picking up that you, uh, you guys are actually in a connection. Like well, I'm talking about like either commitment, you guys are boyfriends and girlfriends, or you're actually, um, husband and wife, you know, something like that. Let's start with that energy first. Because I'm also feeling that some of you guys are actually asking about your husband or asking about your current boyfriend or somebody that uh, probably is an ex. You guys are not in communication, you know, and you're kind of like curious as to what they're telling their friends and family about you because there was a separation. There's so many energies right now, okay? But um, for those of you that are resonating more with you guys are actually really in a connection. It's not just a crush, Okay. I feel that, you know, there were some harsh words that were said, you know, that's really what I'm picking up. There were some harsh words that were said and, you know, they're kind of like, you know, telling their friends and family about that, especially friends. I'm picking more about friends like, dude, you know, um, girl, you know what this guy told me or this girl told me or this girlfriend of mine or this wife of mine, you know, something to do with like, you know, um, more about the friends. I don't really sense the family for some reason on, on that, you know, energy. Um, but they're like, you know, we're, they were really like, <clears throat> excuse me, they're kind of like in, in pain about what happened between the both of you. And they're in pain about the words that were said because it was harsh. Okay. Another energy that I'm also picking up for those of you that are resonating more with, um, you just recently, you know, like you're in a getting to know stage and all that, but you're starting to like each other already. You probably met this person again in the workplace because there's a strong, you know, workplace energy here. And so they're telling their friends, you know what? I really like this, you know, this person. I, I like this person because this person is so very honest. You know, this person is very um, upfront, very direct. And this person is actually very ambitious, a go-getter. She knows what she wants. He knows what he wants, flip the roles. And I really admire this person. I admire their courage, you know, their bravery and all that. And for some, I'm also picking up that, you know, <clears throat> I need to clear my throat. For some reason, somebody's actually, you know, need to clear their throat chakra. I don't know if it's a viewer or the person you're inquiring about. But anyway, um, another energy that I'm picking up is that it's also about marriage. You know, um, for those who are resonating more with um, your inquiring about your husband or... Um, yeah, your previous husband or wife, whatever that is, but something to do with um, a commitment like, you know, you guys are husband and wife or just simply a commitment. I'm also feeling that this person was telling their friends and family that they're very, you know, heartbroken or they feel the pain of you not being around, that they really wanted to work on this partnership, on this commitment, okay? The four of wands. They wanted to come together again with you because you give them strength you know, and uh, for some reason, they just don't know what to do. Like, they're actually, you know, some of them are actually, you know, like, thinking that maybe, um, 
yeah, I'm hearing like someone is actually scared if you would still want them back, you know, so they're gathering all their strength. I don't know, that's a specific one, but somebody's actually scared if you guys are going to, you know, take them back, that maybe they can't handle the truth that if somebody actually rejected them or told them that, you know what, it's over, you know. It's like this volcano, I'm drawn to this volcano, like somebody was really like, you know, <laughs> yeah, exploded like a volcano and it's like, it's over, you know, I'm, I'm done with this connection, you know, with this, with this um, commitment, you know, somebody's scared but that's not all of you i'm just picking up that strong energy over there okay but definitely um what do they tell their friends and family about you there's a lot of pain here because at the bottom of of the duck we have 10 of wands look at that so burdens a lot of burdens for some i'm also picking up that you know Maybe you had an argument regarding time, you know, something to do with not being able to focus on this connection. If you guys are married, like um, somebody's already or oh, rather not already, but always busy at work. OK, juggling two things. OK, work, something to do with work, really. And um, this person, whether that's you or it's them, it's like, you know, I can't, you know, I can't handle this anymore. Like, you know, this person is always, you know, always just focusing on their work, on their career, and he or she doesn't have time for me. You know, something to do with time, okay? So that's what they're telling their friends and family. Like, they're actually trying to share their pain because Nine of Wands talks about pain. But I'm also feeling for some of you, before we get another set of cards, I'm also feeling that, yeah, I'm really hearing that that they actually told somebody the truth, whether it's friends or family. If you're resonating more with um, friends and family not approving of the connection, they're actually telling their friends and family that, no, I'm not going to let go of this person. I love this person so much, okay? And uh, they're going to speak their truth, definitely. And they would choose you. They would tell their friends and family, you know what, no matter what you say, um, I feel so passionate with this person. I want to come together with this person. I want this union, you know, um, like I want this union with this person. Sorry about that. I want this union with this person, okay, because this person gave me all the strength and motivation. Some, some, you know, something to do with motivation. I don't know, but motivation. And so they're actually working hard on it. Um, this person knows that there were, you know, some challenges, but this person is trying to balance everything. Something to do with balance as well. Yeah, so that's a mix of energies because, again, this is a general reading. I'm picking up so many energies for some reason. So take it as it resonates, all right? But actually, let's pull up more cards for you. Let me try to get the wisdom of the oracle. Yeah. All right, Spirit, what do they tell um, their family and friends about group one? Okay, see, what did I tell you? Truth be told. And then we have breathe, okay? All right, so actually, let me pull that out again. And this is really making sense, guys. It is making a lot of sense. You saw me shuffle, and you saw the Ace of Swords, right? And something to do with truth okay let me focus that something to do with truth so a lot of um scenarios here what i'm picking up number one is that they're actually telling their friends and family the truth that they are in love with you and that they wanted to keep you and that yeah again that they're truly in love with you they're saying a lot of good things about you and that they've never met someone that they can actually be be themselves with you know maybe this person has a lot of mask or they can't be themselves with other people they're around but with you they can just they found someone who can where they can actually be themselves i don't know i'm getting that energy another energy i'm picking up is that they're actually telling their friends and family that they realize again that they're in love with you that they're not going to let you go especially for those who are resonating that families and friends are not um, approving of the connection they're telling the truth finally speaking of the truth they're tired of you know putting on a mask you know just to please their family and friends and they're uh, and they're like you know what i really love this woman or this man so i don't care about what you think i'm gonna be truthful to myself i'm gonna you know i'm not gonna lie but 
I really love this person. I'm really in love with this person. I'm going to keep this person, okay? And I'm going to stick with this person um, no matter what you say. That's another energy. Another energy I'm picking up for those who are resonating more that you guys had an argument, okay? What they're telling their friends and family is that, you know, something about the truth that was told. Like, there's something that you said to this person and kind of like hurt them. You know, it did hurt them. And so this person was just trying, you know, with a brief card here, I feel that this person is trying to, you know, trying to um, calm themselves down. Just like, yeah, breathe. Okay. Let me focus. There you go. Meditate or just trying to calm themselves down, not to be too emotional. Or some of them, they're trying to balance their emotions and their logic. Okay. But this person is definitely telling their friends and family, like, um, another message I'm getting is that this person, I can be with this person. I can breathe. You know, I can breathe. Like, I don't have to act a certain way. This person is making me feel this way. Like, I can just be myself. I can be, I can tell them everything, you know, without me putting on a mask or trying to pretend to be some someone else that I'm not. Okay? That's a really, really strong energy too. Okay, let's also try to pull out the psychic tarot. Yeah, that would be great. All right, Spirit, what do they tell their friends and family? Oh, wow, that's a lot. Okay, hold on. What does the person of group one know? What do they tell their friends and family about them? Wow, light. Okay, so you are this light. Maybe this person's been through dark times or maybe this person has been, because they have the Ten of Wands, they're burdened about something, you know, they're very, they're not in a very, you know, um, good energy for some. And I'm picking up that they see you as the light, you know, um, the light of the, you know, from a, a very dark tunnel and they're seeing you as the light, okay, a hope, you know, you're a hope to them. And that actually is resonating more with... Let me actually pull that up. The strength card here, you know, this is actually the sun, by the way. So you could be dealing with a Leo, by the way, because this is the sun card and this is strength, which is also Leo. So they see you as someone who's very radiant, just like this lady over here. She's filled with lots of love and compassion. And um, you are this person's hope, really. So they're telling their friends about that, you know. They're telling their friends... Um, this person gave me a lot of radiance. This person gave me a lot of warmth. This, exactly, warmth, you know? This person makes me feel so warm and fuzzy inside, okay? Wow, that is so beautiful. So even though you're resonating more with um, the pain and all that, this person has feelings, deep feelings for you, okay? All right, so let's try to pull out Archangel Oracle cards for you. Okay, we have angel therapy. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. Exactly. What did I tell you earlier? Um, somebody was actually really, really burdened because I said that at the bottom of the card, there is 10 of wands, which talks about burdens. And notice how the colors are pretty similar. That is weird. Okay, so yeah. So basically, um, this person is actually trying to um, take a breather for some reason. We have the breathe card earlier. Take a breather. And they're just, you know, allowing uh, themselves, allowing things to flow, basically. You know, they don't want to um, add stress to what they have already, okay? And so, yeah, that's also the advice for them, or it's, it could be for you as well. But definitely, um, yeah, um, Archangel Raphael is here to actually, you know, tell you that, or tell the person that they need to actually let go of the worries and um, just trust the angels, trust the universe, allow them to actually, you know, take good care of their burdens, whatever burdens. It could be also auric because I'm also hearing earlier that there's something to do with, you know, balancing work, family life and work. Okay, for those who are actually resonating with family. Another card that you got, it's actually Claire Sentience. Notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. So somebody's actually very much listening to their inner guidance. Somebody is actually trying to um contemplate on things and then feel things. 
feel it, you know, because maybe some of them are actually, like what I said earlier, somebody's trying to balance the emotions and their logic, you know, um, but definitely that advice is actually um, saying that you need to follow your own inner guidance about what's going on, okay? Now, for some, they are actually following their inner guidance. Like they're telling their, you know, they've thought about it. And even though somebody or probably family members or, or, or friends are not approving of the connection, they follow their inner guidance, you know? They try to meditate with a breeze card over here, right? And they know, they receive an awakening, they receive a message that, no, I'm not letting go of this person I love this person so much so whatever you say I followed my own inner guidance okay my own feelings another thing that I'm picking up from that clairsentience card is that when they actually met you or this connection of yours between the both of you gave them that feeling that you are really the one for them okay that they don't want to give up in this connection even though you guys are actually in a separation not talking or there was some sort of like a fallout or problem they don't want to give up on this connection right um, they see as a ray of light, just like, you know, when we actually pulled out the, um, um, the card earlier, which is light. Okay. You give them, you know, a lot of positivity. You give them that fuzzy, warm, warm, fuzzy feeling, that positive feeling. All right. So one last before we wrap up group number one. Oh, we'll actually do charms as well, by the way. All right. Anything else? I'm not going to take that. Anything else, spirit? For group one. What do they tell their friends and family about them? Okay. There you go. Card is children. Your love life is being affected by children. Okay, so this could mean a lot of things. For some of you guys, um, it could be that, yeah, I'm picking up a lot of, you know, energies here with that children card. Number one, what I'm picking up. Mm, it's a combination of negative and positive, okay? For the negative ones, so kind of like, you know, not negative, but challenge, it would be that you are already, you already have kids or one of you, one of you already have kids and they know that they have to balance things or some of them are actually, they have kids where they don't like you. Okay. I'm going to be very blunt because that's also the energy I'm feeling like somebody already has a kid. It's either you, you have a kid and they don't like your kids doesn't like your person vice versa just flip the roles okay but there's a strong energy about not wanting someone okay so that's the main challenge or obstacle there another thing is that it could be something to do with immaturity okay maybe somebody's acting immature and so what they're telling their friends and family especially if it's a negative situation that you guys argued about something and all that somebody was actually talking about immaturity like somebody's immature you know um and then an, or acting immature and another message i'm getting which is positive is that you bring out the youthfulness in, inside of them you know like the ray of light you know something to do with like an inner child reminds me of the sun card because this is a sun card and remember the sun card has a as a kid riding on a horse right so and it, and this is a children card so one of the feelings that you bring out the inner child you make this um person's inner child so happy okay um they love your company so much maybe Maybe that's also what they're telling their friends and family that they can be you know like kids with you laughing with you joking with you um yeah it brings so much joy you know very innocent playful energy really and that's what they really love about you or you know they're telling their friends and family why they're in love with you or why they like you so much all right so there you go let me actually try to get some charms for you let us see. Okay, so already. All right. Okay. Um, let's check out the letters. We have the letter D. Could be their initials, by the way. The letter T and the letter Y. For some reason, when I saw DTY, I heard the word today. Today. I don't know why today. <laughs> anyway, somebody's actually very spiritual. So maybe somebody was telling someone that this person is very religious. This person goes to church a lot. This is my wish. Dream come true. A star. I'm hoping for the kind for this kind of person or this person gives me a lot of positivity because star also means positivity and hope. Right. What else? Again, the sun. Oh, my God. And this is the sun card. Wow. And then it says at the back, made with smile. So again, you make this person smile so much, definitely. And so they're telling your friends about that. Like, okay, this person, 
gave me a lot gave me a lot of hope a positivity you know i feel so spiritually connected with this person with this cross card here or it could be religious as well they could be telling their friends and family about that you know that this is the one that i really you know would like to marry i don't know because you have the four of wands energy earlier right so four of wands like some sort of like a marriage that's why it's it could be that you guys are married or this person is telling their friends and family this is a person is a marriage material i want to marry this person okay and then there's something about toxicity okay toxic energies okay that needs to be like go off so maybe for those who are resonating more with the arguments and all that something someone is acting immature or there were some you know again arguments they're probably telling their friends about that you know about this toxicities which cause a tower moment because you have a tower here and they're using their intuition for me cats are very intuitive cats are very intuitive and so that's why we had the clairsentience card to follow your own intuition um yeah but definitely you are the key to their heart okay you open up their heart they can actually be truthful towards you um <clears throat> something to do with abundance with the fish here prosperity and abundance and then again we have another key okay so yeah you are each other's key you know answer to probably an answer um like i'm hearing like an, uh, 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 an unanswered rather an answered prayer from god like the key you know you were the key that key where they actually prayed to the universe that's maybe why they why i said god but somebody who's praying for someone like you and you were that key that they're looking for and vice versa because you have two keys okay and then for some reason looking at this i am picking up um the word um integrity and honor i don't know why and then with the bicycle here they wanted to progress you know they wanted to move forward not in a negative way or probably progress from the toxicities for some or they wanted to actually progress this connection you know to move it in a positive way all right so hopefully that resonated with you guys thank you so much for watching group one um i'll see you again on the next fun pick a card reading thank you bye bye love and light Hello group two, you chose this beautiful calcite moonstone, so you actually put that over there and we will actually try to find out what does your person um, tell your, their friends and family about you, we'll try to find out. Okay, hold on, let me just actually get the cards for you. Okay, Spirit, what does the person of group two, what do they tell their friends and family about group two? All right, you got two cards. You have nine of cups. Wow. Oh my gosh. And then we have the high priestess. Wow. All right. Okay. What do they tell their friends and family about you? What do they tell the friends and family of group two's person? Okay. What is this? The devil. Oh, my God. We have the high priestess and then the devil. Wow. Okay. Three more cards. Okay. And we have... Wow. We have Ace of Pentacles. Okay. I'm hearing that you actually changed this person's life for some reason. I'm really picking that up. Wow. Okay. And finally, two cards. Nine. This is so positive. Whoever picked group two... My gosh, you guys are so freaking, you know, wow. Nine of Pentacles, okay. All right. And then King of Wands, okay. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. For the signs or just the energies, not necessarily the signs, I'm picking up energy, uh, definitely uh, someone who's um, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, especially Capricorn, okay. Somebody could also be um, Pisces. I'm also feeling Pisces with the water, cup, the cups and water here. So, and then there's also fire, okay. There's also fire, but definitely strong um, Capricorn or Virgo and then Taurus energy and um, a Pisces, you know, that kind of energy of a Pisces. For some reason, I'm picking that up. All right. So what they tell their friends and family about you is that you are their wish with a nine of cups here. Definitely. You are what they're wishing for, because I feel that you have a lot of sides in you. I don't know why I'm saying that, because you are balanced, like there's a masculine and feminine within you. 
that they like. You know, you're not overly feminine and just feminine, but you have this masculine energy about you. You could be a very hardworking person, you know, something to do with finances because we have devil, ace of pentacles and nine of pentacles. So you could be very independent. You know, you could they could tell their friends, you know what, this woman that I like or this man that I like is really hardworking, very independent. You know, they can stand on their own. They're not clingy. You know, they're very much career focused. They're very ambitious. Okay, with a Capricorn or the Devil card here. Could be very materialistic for some. But I'm not sensing too much negative energy though. But it's like you actually have that Midas touch. That whatever you touch turns into gold. You're really good when it comes to finances. Or you're very ambitious. You have, you're goal oriented. Okay? And you're really good when it comes to, again, to your career. And they love your passion. They love your drive, your ambition and all that. You know, you are somebody who is actually, um, yeah, you know your game. I don't know why I'm hearing that. You know your game so much. So they're very impressed about that, you know. Whether you're a guy or a female watching this, they're really impressed by you. You both ba have a balance of masculine and feminine energy. And at the same time, they're telling your friends, you know what, I'm quite addicted to this person, really, because I've never met someone like this, you know. And they find you sexy, too. Especially if you're a woman. I don't know why I'm picking that up. They're quite a attracted to your body so much especially for the women i don't know i'm picking up more about the women like they really like your body and they really have this sexual attraction towards you and so they're probably there if it's a guy like they're telling their their guy friends like oh my god i'm like really turned on by this person i love their body and their mind they're really you know but you're very independent they tell their friends like you know like they you know this person I, that i like you know they're very independent you know they don't need meat in order for them to be complete because they're very successful they see you as someone who's very very successful so they're they tell their friends and family about that you know like you are someone who's actually very um career oriented or goal goal oriented or career focused on that you're good when it comes to your you know finances okay you're very successful and um at the same time you are their wish you know they've been wishing for someone exactly like you you can also be very intuitive you know and when you're in a feminine side they really like how you are actually very caring you're actually very understanding i'm hearing the word sympathy i don't know why sympathy it's not empathy but sympathy i don't know why the sympathy and then i also pick up earlier that you actually change this person's life like for some reason if you act uh, if you were dealing someone with had a bad past or toxic past you were able to actually help this person out you have this very positive healing energy about you all right so let's try to pull out more cards to get more clues about what they're telling their friends about you and family members Okay, Spirit, anything else? What they're telling... Whoa. Okay, you got three. Wow, we have Chaos on Conflict. Okay, you got the Tribe. Okay. Oh, wow, beautiful. And then Y. Okay. All right, what I'm picking up from these three cards, again, like what I said, you actually help this person out of a bad past. Or I really don't feel that they find you chaotic, you know, their connection with the chaotic. Exactly not you know not 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 that way definitely what i'm feeling here is that you've actually helped this person to get out of a very bad situation uh, um you could be a high priest in the high priestess energy or you can probably be someone who's a wise counsel counsel like a, a counselor like you you give them good advices and you were able to help um, help them out by you know taking them out of that energy taking them out of that really bad state and they feel that you guys are like the tribe, soul tribes, you know, that you guys um, resonate a lot. And for some of them, they're actually asking, like, why? What's, why is it that I'm feeling this way with this person? I really don't sense anything negative with the why card here. What I'm, what I'm sensing is that they're actually, you know, they themselves are so drawn to you. And for some of you, the reason, you know, um, the reason there's the card called why was because, you know, they can't fathom why the connection is so intense and it's so strong. You know, there's something about you guys. Your connection is, it could be also spiritual. I'm hearing spiritual connection. A lot of soulmate or spiritual soulmate connection here. And they're very much like, wow, I've never felt this before. Because we have the tribe here and the soulmate or the soul tribe. You guys are really going to mesh together. And there's so much, so much similarity. So you guys jive so well okay now let's try to pull out psychic tarot 
Spirit, any additional clues about what does their person, what do they tell their person? Okay, there's, that's a lot of cards though. Okay. Any additional, whoa. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Okay. All right. So with this conflict and defeat and deception and envy, what I'm feeling is that somebody's actually not telling you the truth that they're already in love with you. Okay. I'm really feeling that. Okay. Um, somebody is actually trying to hide their emotions with a deception here. I don't think they're telling your friends you're deceptive. It's more about they're hiding. You could be friends right now for some of you, not necessarily lovers yet, but you guys are friends and you had this strong bond with other tribe, right? A strong bond. Um, and they're falling for you, but they feel very conflicted that maybe somebody, somebody's actually not very, very confident about expressing their emotions because you have yellows. Okay. And then heart the, the green, I'm drawn to the green, which means heart chakra. Someone's heart chakra is kind of blocked, okay? And somebody had a, an issue with confidence. So maybe that's the reason why they feel so defeated and conflicted because definitely somebody is trying to hide their emotions for you. So maybe they're confiding with their friends and family or especially friends that, you know what, I, I'm really in love with this person, you know? I don't know why, but this connection is so strong. But I don't know how I can actually tell this person that I want more than friends you know i i want to deepen the connection okay all right what else can we pull out okay let's try the archangel cards for you all right some advice maybe or you know just additional guidance for you anything else spirit whoa that was strong oh my gosh let me do with that again energy of group two is so strong for some reason Okay, anything else, Spirit? Okay. Breathe. Okay, Archangel Raphael. Take several breaths, rather. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. So again, maybe you're actually helping this person to release negative, toxic patterns because you have the devil card. Remember, you got the devil card. And like what I said earlier, which resonates or correlates with what I'm saying earlier, that you've probably helped this person a lot, you know, to get out of a bad situation. So, yeah, that's exactly what they're doing, you know. They're telling their, their friends and family, you know what, this person helped me a lot to relax, to actually let go what needs to be let go of, any negative behavior or patterns, okay. So, yeah, it's making a lot of sense. That is awesome. So you give this person a lot of positive energy. You're very much of a, you know, I could feel somebody who's actually, you could be older than this person. If not older, you're more mature, okay? And the other person's more like a student type and you're the teacher because the high priestess is someone who's very wise, okay? All right, anything else, Spirit? Before we pick out some charms for you to before you wrap up this reading. Okay, anything else, Spirit? Sorry about that. I bumped the camera again. Whoa. Hold on. That's really good because it's resonating. Okay, there we go. So, it says here, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So, what I really feel here, guys, is that definitely this person is going to come, um, to come forward with the truth. Maybe that's why, you know. Oh, God. Maybe that's why I said someone is actually trying to hide their emotions for you, but definitely this person is going to come forward. Maybe that's the reason why they're telling their friends all about you. Like, they're asking for advice. You know, like, what should I do, dude? What should I do, girl? You know, like, because I like this person so much. And so, yeah, definitely very soon they're going to come forward and gonna they're going to open up about what they truly feel about you because I really have a strong... Um, you know, feeling here that for some majority of you guys, you're actually not a couple yet. You guys are friends, okay? And you've taught this person a lot. You've helped this person like uh, an advisor and this person already developed feelings for you, but they're actually just trying to hide it at the moment. But they've actually confided to their friends because they keep on asking like, why is it that this person is so, I don't know why I fell in love with this person, but really I'm so intensely attracted towards this person. And so... And they're asking advice from their friends what, what they're going to do about it, okay? But definitely, they're deciding, okay? And they're going to come forward soon, very soon, to let you know about how they truly feel. All right, so let's actually get you some charms for fun. Oh, 
okay? That's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, one more. Okay. All right. So there's a lot of letters she got here. So it could be their initials. So there's W, P, D, F, G, O, Z, K, J, letter V, letter L, letter Y, letter X. Okay. For some, okay, if I'm going to form some words, it could be their initials, but it could form some words. So help me out here, guys. You guys are good. So there's God for some, I don't know. I, I was actually, you know, drawn to that God. And um, there's gold. Maybe they, you know, find you someone who's very golden, like an opportunity again, like this golden opportunity. Um, you may maybe like dog, D-O-G. I don't know. And they want to get out of this fog. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, there's a lot of words here, okay? Or just probably just initials, okay? And then I'm also, yeah, okay, yeah, nothing else, all right? So those are actually what I'm picking up from the letters that popped up here. But if there's anything else you're seeing, it's up to you, you know? That's why I'm showing you the letter, so take a good look at it, okay? And then for your charms, again, toxic. Exactly. There's some toxic that happened to this person. Where's that devil card? Hold on. You remember what I told you? Like, there's something toxic, like, you know, addictions and all that. And you try to help this person being in the high priestess mode, okay? Or vibration. So, you've helped this person get out of a bad situation, just like what I said. You gave him a lot of peace, or you're a very peaceful person. And then, with a mermaid here, I feel that, you know, what I feel, I don't know why I actually felt, you know, something, the word delicate or... Someone is very in their feminine energy. You're very feminine. You're mystery, mysterious. There you go. Mysterious person as well. And then you're heaven sent for them with the angel here. Or this is this could be good, divinely guided. Maybe they've been praying for someone like you. Um, and then we have here. Well, okay. What is this? Yeah. We have here a stallion. So strong. For some reason when I pick that up, it's strong. Freedom too. And then what is this? Cat. Wow, very mysterious, very intuitive. And then, again, we have the butterfly, so transformation. You've transformed this person so much. And then with a the coin here, all of the coin is in Queen Elizabeth. So somebody's actually from UK or somebody from Britain, okay? Any, you know, England, whatever. Some, some you know, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm pulled to saying that, okay? Because I got this coin. Or probably it's just that you're a queen to them because Queen Elizabeth. Okay? All right. So anyway, I hope that resonated with you. I hope you enjoyed this really fun pick a card reading. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you, if you don't want to, you know. Um, um, if you don't want to comment, it's fine. Okay? I'm just going to do this for fun anyway. But if there's anything that you wanted to share or other future fun pick a card readings that you would like to see, let me know by, you know, dropping a comment down below. All right? All right, guys. See ya. Goodbye. All right, last group. You chose Citrine. Let's try to check out what does your person tell their friends and family about you? Spirit, what does the person of group three tell their friends and family about them? Ooh, okay, the first card. Let's see here. You got the fool. All right. What does the person of group three tell their family and friends about them? Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot, though. Okay, got two cards. Let's see here. Ooh, we have Princess of Cups. Beautiful card. Look at that. Wow. So dreamy. I love this card. Beautiful. Okay. You might like to travel a lot, or you probably, I don't know, something to do with travel. Anyway, the Tower. Wow. Scorpio energy. Somebody is a Scorpio or Aries. Like you're both two different elements. One is a fire and one is um, one is fire and one is water. Okay, it's kind of like the opposite, but you guys actually blend for some reason. There's something, yeah, another fire. We have King of Wands. Okay, two more spirit, please. Okay, thank you. 
You got Queen of Swords. And then Queen of Cups. Wow, a lot of court cards here. Wow, a lot of court cards here. This is weird. Okay, yeah. You got Prince of, Princess of Cups. You got King of Wands, Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. All right. So, what I can actually pick up from this reading, um, first, the strong signs that I'm picking up, it can, it can be just the energy, if not the signs in their chart. It could be a Scorpio, really strong Scorpio energy, okay? And a strong Aries for some, okay? Um, yeah, but really strong water, water, because we have the princess and the queen of cups here. Okay, what do they tell their friends and family about you? Um, they tell their friends, and, there are a lot of energies. I'll, 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 I'll actually start with this first energy, okay? First energy is you guys broke up with the tower here. And what they're telling their friends and family is that they can't move on. You know, they really can't. They are trying to move away or move on from this connection. They tried, but they can't, okay? All right? And they still wanted to actually, you know, um, to make this, you know, connection work. They really do because they have strong feelings for you. You know, you guys may be also friends, very good friends for some. Okay, really good friends. You have a good, you know, it's like heaven and hell. Honestly, I'm, I'm getting that heaven and hell feeling. Heaven and hell meaning that when your guys are in good mood or when you guys are actually in the best of, you know, moods or you guys are doing, you know, in general, okay, you guys are like in heaven, like everything is perfect, like perfect. And there's a lot of passion too, you know. But when you guys are actually, you know, arguing or there's an argument or you guys are not disagreeing, that's going to be a hell. You know, a lot of, you know, a lot of emotions I'm picking up from this group, from this last group. A lot of emotions, different emotions that they're actually feeling for you that they're telling their friends that, you know. It's like an on and off thing. I'm also p picking that energy of on and off thing. A lot of arguments, but when you get back together. And I'm hearing makeup sex. Oh my God, that is so specific. That is so weird. Why the hell did I hear makeup sex? Maybe you do that. Maybe after you argue, you, you do. Oh my God, this is weird. But definitely a strong fire and water. And fire and water, they say it's not compatible because fire can actually, water can put up the fire, right? Of uh, Water can actually um, put out the fire. There you go. And um, so they are saying it's not compatible. But the thing is, uh, for some reason, it's still, you know, it's still weird because you guys are still intensely drawn to each other. This is a strong, um, a strong and intense connection between the both of you. It's like there's a push and pull or there's like on and off, you know, kind of like that. When you guys are in your, in your best spirits, you guys are very passionate towards each other. You love each other so much. Oh, my God. I'm hearing again. There's a lot of sex. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Okay, I don't know who chose this file, but yeah, I'm hearing a lot of sex. Okay, a lot of sex. The sex is really good, very explosive. Okay, but you can be this queen of swords. Somebody's like in the queen of swords energy. And when you guys are arguing, like you, you can just cut them off. Okay, very cold, you know. Um, but definitely, they're, what they're telling their friends and families that they can't move on. They are intensely drawn towards you. Like, look at this King of Wands. Like, uh, he's charging. Like, he's charging towards his queen, okay? With the Queen of Cups. Because although they're totally different elements, but there is some sort of, like, you know, even though they're totally opposite, there's still a lot of, you know, attraction and love for each other is what I'm picking up or what I'm sensing, okay? This person is burning with passion for you. Maybe that's what, what they're also telling their friends. You know what? Even though we're arguing a lot, I really am drawn to her or vice versa. I'm really drawn to him. You know, even though we're arguing a lot, I still can't get over and just start on a brand new journey without this person. I can't because we've always been together just like this woman and this dolphin. Again, opposites, right? Like someone is human and somebody is an, an animal. But even though that's the case, you know, even though you're totally opposite or different, it could be from different backgrounds too, by the way. I'm also picking that up. You can be from different cultures for some reason. You can be from, yeah, different race or cultures. But even though it's like that, you still love each other because you blend so well. Like, yeah, there's something about, you know, uh, like you you guys are, you guys still compliment, basically. You compliment 
each other. You got a lot of emotions. I'm drawn to the water here. You've got a lot of emotions. A lot of emotions in this card. Sometimes it's all about sex, passion, a lot of emotions. Like sometimes it's kind of like dramatic too, you know, um, excitement, you know. And um, oh, sorry about that. I bumped the camera. But yeah. Definitely, that's what they're telling their friends. That even though you guys had a lot of argument, they really do have overflowing feelings for you and this burning passion for you. You know, that even though sometimes they're really pissed off, you know, at the end of the day, they look at you as if you are their, you know, their partner in crime. You know, I, I don't know why I said partner in crime, but partner in crime, even though you're totally different from each other. Okay? That's what really I'm picking up. And then, um, yeah. And yeah, there's nothing else I'm picking up. It's just that energy, you know. And the, and they 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 also you know see us as Queen of Swords energy. You're very blunt. You can be a Scorpio, really a Scorpio, because a Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio, by the way, um, because you got the Tower here, um, and we Scorpios are actually very direct, you know. We don't sugarcoat things, so that's probably why you know you know when it, when we get actually really pissed off, we're like this volcano. We explode, and we're not. We can turn into an ice queen, which is the queen of swords, ice queen. When we get mad, okay. So yeah, maybe they're actually confiding to their friends, telling them about if you guys had an argument and all that. But again, they're saying positive things though. That even though you guys had an on and off relationship, a lot of you know. Um, bad things that you know happened or a fallout if there's a tower that just recently happened they still they they still tell their friends how much they care for you and that they can't move on for some reason they can't take on a new beginning or a new journey with someone else or just just being alone they can't they really can't okay let's try to pull out more cards for you let's try wisdom of the oracle any other clue spirit what do they tell um, they're friends and family about group three. Wow. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But I'll take the two cards that first popped out. We got chop wood. Okay. That was a strong energy, by the way. Chop wood. And then we got happy, happy. Okay, yeah. So basically, chop wood talks about... For me, it's like compromises. Like, let's not make things complicated. Like, you know, we can just wash the dishes, you know, say hi together. Let's not make things... I don't know why I'm hearing the words, let's not make things complicated, you know? I wish things are not so complicated because sometimes maybe you're arguing over small things. I don't know why I'm picking that up, okay? When you can actually just, you know, um, let it slide or actually focus more on, you know enjoying your time together instead of focusing on arguments or instead of focusing on the bad things you can actually just you know spirit is actually asking you to have this you know quality time with this person or both of you should have a quality time together you can you know wash the dishes together say hi and you know compliment something to do with compliment i don't know i'm hearing that but yeah that's what i'm picking up from this card and happy happy definitely because no matter you know the obstacles and challenges that happen between the both of you, the fallout or whatever, you still make this person happy. So they always tell their friends and their family, this person, you know, despite of our, you know, flaws or despite of the things that we've been through, I still love this person. This person makes me happy, truly happy, just like a dolphin, very, very happy, you know, always happy. All right, so let's try to pull out Psychic Tarot for additional clues. Any additional clues, Spirit? Okay, you got two, rest and rejuvenate, and then base chakra. Okay, what I'm picking up here is that maybe you guys are actually not in communication. Somebody's actually trying to heal themselves or trying to, for some reason, a break, you know, a breather. Okay, somebody's actually trying to ground themselves and taking a break. So maybe you guys are, again, for some of you that are resonating more with you guys are not talking or you took a break from each other because of the tower moment that happened, you know, yeah. 
that's what they're actually telling their friends. I need a break first. Um, or she needed a break first. He needed a break first. So we're not communicating right now. Or somebody's actually, you know, um, they're telling their friends and family that maybe we need to give it a break at this time to contemplate on things to, you know, um, for us to think over or think it over rather. And for some, I'm also hearing that this person is actually at peace with you for some reason. I'm, I'm getting that energy where they tell their friends and family, you know, I can be at peace with this person, you know, um, a lot of greens, a lot of heart, you know, nature. So it's kind of like this person feels at peace, feels at home with you. That's the energy I'm picking up. Another energy for the base chakra, it talks about security. So maybe you don't make this person feel anxious or worried about, you know, um, the security or maybe it's the other way around. They're scared about the security of your connection, the security of your partnership. So it can be either that or it can flip it. Somebody's feeling as well, because I'm also picking that up. Someone is feeling as well that they are very satisfied. They, you know, they know that you are the one and that they feel assured that or there's some sort of like assurance like security about this connection about how they feel about you and for some it all also had something to do with finances so somebody's actually worried about finances so maybe somebody's actually telling their friends and family about i wanted to actually you know provide more for this person Number four, stability. So maybe I want it to be more stable for this person, but I can't at this time because I don't have the enough resources or finances um, to take this on, on a le next level. Okay, a lot of energy. Sorry, guys, but that's actually what I'm what I'm feeling right now. Okay, or what I'm hearing right now. Okay, let's actually try to get more cards for you. Let's try the Archangel Oracle cards for additional guidance. Okay. Clear audience, um, notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. Okay, so um, what I'm picking up um, with clear audience is that I'm a clear audience, by the way. So clear audience, we get some messages through our mind. It's not that we're actually cuckoos or we need to drink some psychotic pills, but we actually hear a lot of messages, you know, um, in our minds, some, some, you know, messages that we pick up. So basically, um, your person, what they're actually trying to do right now or telling rather their friends and family is that they are actually, you know, I, I'm feeling that they're seeking advice. They're picking up some advices from different people, not only their friends, but people they're close with. And then, of course, their family. But at the end of the day, they are still actually following um, their own inner guidance. Because I feel that some of them are against the connection because you guys are different. You know, you get what I'm saying? Like, especially those who are resonating more, like you guys from different cultures or backgrounds, and they get you know, negative responses from people that they're confiding with. They're telling good things about you, but their people or their person, or rather their friends and family are like, nah, you should find someone else who's actually of the same culture as we are. Or maybe that's going to be very challenging because you guys are from different races and you don't have enough money actually to go to that person, you know, to, to go to that person or to actually to be near to that person, you know, things like that. So, that's really what I'm picking up, okay? For some of you, that's really specific though. But at the end of the day, they're still listening to their own inner guidance because they know that even though how different you guys are, they love you. You know, they really, really do. And they're proud of you. I don't know why I'm pulled to say that. They're very, very proud of you. They love your, if you're a woman, they really love your guts. It's like you got balls for some reason. You got balls, you know, you got the strength and they were like, wow, you know, this woman is really amazing, okay? So yeah, um, they're really listening to their intuition. And by listening to their intuition, they know they shouldn't give up on this connection. They don't want to give up on this connection. That's why they can't move on, okay? Um, they are not going to move on. They're telling their friends that no matter what you say, I'm not going to move on from that person, okay? And then let's try some romance angels for you. Anything else? Spirit. And then we'll pick out charms before we wrap the reading. Okay, let's see here. Okay, group two got this very soon. So clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So definitely this person is thinking about what they're going to do, what they're going to do, but obviously with the reading, they're not going to give you up. 
okay? Because somebody was probably asking them, not, like, you know, give it up, okay, dude, give it up, you know? You guys are not going to work. You guys are from different cultures. That's actually just for those who re are resonating with different cultures or backgrounds or somebody who's who's not approving of the connection. For those of you that doesn't resonate with that, um, it's just saying that very soon this person is actually going to come forward, tell you what they truly feel or what they want to happen in your connection, Okay. That's really what I'm picking up right now. Now, let's get some charms for you for fun. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm going to do this. So, whatever pops up. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, the letter K can be significant for you. Maybe their first or last name. Letter P. Okay. Two Ps. Letter D. Letter C. Letter L. Okay. You know what? It could not just be their, um, it could not just be their letter, I rather their initials, but the first word, when I actually saw that, I heard the word picked. They picked you. Maybe somebody, like, clearly decide. Maybe somebody is actually choosing between two other people. I don't know. But they picked you. I don't know. It can also be plucked. I don't know. Or you're a luck. Luck to this person. Okay? I don't know why I'm saying that. But anyway, let's see here. Again, like what I said, <laughs> oh gosh, I love it when it's resonating so much. Jeez, he got the tower moment, right? So yeah, there was definitely a tower moment here. And then what else? Um, he got the butterfly, so transformation. He got the seahorse. Is, is this a seahorse? Let me check. Yeah, it could be a seahorse. It kind of looked like a snake for some reason. It's weird. Yeah, seahorse. So seahorse also symbolizes something to do with prosperity, I believe. Some abundance and all that. And then, yeah, got two angels. Wow. So maybe this is really a divinely guided connection. You guys are, even though you're, again, look at this, guys. One is gold, one is silver. So definitely, you know, you guys are different. And yet you actually complement each other so much right and that both of you are actually yeah some sort of like a spiritual connection divinely guided angels are just supporting this connection what else and then the keynote for for me it's like maybe they're actually giving you signs if you're not in communication they're giving you signs through songs okay you might be hearing songs that reminded you of this person or vice versa and then again we got this I think group two got this too. You might might as well check out group two for some reason. Okay. Um, this is for me, honor. I don't know. I will actually, the first word that came to me whenever I see this, it's just honor for me, honor. And this person's been wishing for you. You are your hope or they have hopes to bring this connection back together. You know, flower. Okay, hold on. There you go. Then he got the flower charm. Oh, wow. Again. Let's actually turn around. Okay, you got the flower charm. So definitely this person is, um, they, they might give you flowers because I feel that they're going to come around. They're actually going to, some of them, they're going to apologize and might give you flowers. Okay, or um, I don't know why I'm hearing the word joy. You bring this person a lot of joy and abundance because you have the citrine, by the way. Okay, you have the citrine. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this reading. That was really, really awesome. Thank you so much, group three. Thank you for watching this fun pick a card reading. Um, I'll see you again on the next fun pick a card reading. Oh God, I just noticed right now I just bumped my my. Oh, by the way, this is actually emerald crystal, so that symbolizes prosperity. Something to do with abundance for some reason. This group three, something to do with abundance because we have a citrine. Anyway, all right. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again on the next pick a card reading. Um, I love you guys. Sending love and light to everyone. Bye.